Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration, a real punch in the gut. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B-game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavour. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery and the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. Oh, no. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. The obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. <clears throat> a funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. Oof, sorry about that. Oh, no. oh, it happened again. Keep on trying, don't let it get to you. This thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. Mary Pickford. Mm. 
Nasty old boy. Oh, that's gonna be toughy. Going down the road feeling bad. I'm going down the road feeling bad. Going down the road feeling bad. And I ain't going to be treated no. this way. Oh, you lay here, you lay here. Lay here, you lay here. Lay here, you lay here. Oh, come on. Lay them blues up one place.
The soul would have no rainbow, had the eyes no tears. John Vance Cheney. The pain I feel now is the happiness I had before. That's the deal. C.S. Lewis. I feel within me a peace above all earthly dignities, a still and quiet conscience. William Shakespeare. No! You cannot now believe that you will ever feel better. But this is not true. You're sure to be happy again. And knowing this, 
truly believing it will make you less miserable now. Abraham Lincoln. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quick sets of oh, come on. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. Do not stand at my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. No. Mary Fry. Oh. No. no.
To live is to suffer. To survive is to find some meaning in the suffering. Friedrich Nietzsche. Life is a mosaic of pleasure and pain. Grief is an interval between two moments of joy. Peace is the interlude between two wars. You have no rose without a thorn. The diligent picker will avoid the pricks and gather the flower. I never flower. get mad. Sartre, <laughs> <good. laughs> I, was, I was a little ways up there. And I fell down. is my own yard, where the new grass Come flames on. as it has flamed often before, but not with the cold fire that closes round me this year. William Carlos Williams. <laughs> Oh. 